really cool videos. And this is Justin and his 335i, nicely modified. Thanks for bringing it out, bro. I appreciate it. When I saw this car, I thought, man, this looks like a really nice, no compromise daily build. Um, something you can drive daily in. It's an automatic, so you can sit in traffic in it, but it's got real paddle shifters that work the proper way. Olin's coilovers, Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires, and a tune. So all that stuff, it sounds great with the custom exhaust. It's fun to drive. <laughs> so I equated it similar to my CC. I tracked that car, but that has an automatic. Sometimes you want an automatic, right bro? I mean, so yeah, you don't want to be sitting in LA traffic. No, no. <laughs> all the time now we are rubbing rubbing's racing it's all right we're still dialing in this setup Woo! Ooh, nice nice that's 60. it's not that loud in here there's so much insulation it's pretty tame and crazy it's, yeah it's bearable <laughs> yeah bearable when, when you roll up it's, it, it's decent amount of volume outside isn't it yes well i guess we'll hear it with the camera <laughs> this car steering very heavy steering um, especially compared to like Volkswagens and Audis mm -hmm. and it feels fantastic I'm loving loving the steering and that's something that you can enjoy you know the entire time you're driving the car slow speeds high speeds oh yeah you really it, it is a very good connected feeling okay so we have a tune on this what was the tune again it's a MHD flasher tune which is an Android based tune yes so it runs correct. on this tablet we got a whole bunch of data right here flashing out looks really cool I'm digging it um, you have a larger screen which is dope very fitting how much power you get out of that tune on this n55 I'm estimating it's probably pushing 340 crank now okay. stock is uh, about 300 okay so about an extra 40 horsepower and torque about the same yeah around there drivability of the oh, tune yeah. have you noticed any issues or are you really enjoying it I love it it's, it's got some good power got some punch. it's not like a ripper I mean it's right but um, very nice for a daily. I mean, my CC has 200 horsepower, about the same weight, 3,500 pounds. This has got an extra 140 on top of it. Mm -hmm. And is rear wheel drive and has better steering. Because the M3s are a lot more than the 335. Oh, definitely. A lot. Significant. More than double. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I mean, and it's a great car, but you can have a lot of fun in, in one of these, too. Um, especially if this is going to be your runaround car or you could build it up and hit the track because it's the same awesome chassis and um, great steering feel and the tunability I mean there's just endless amounts of mods to just you know dial this thing in exactly to how you would want it Olin's coils this is my second time being in an Olin's equipped car and they're pretty perfect how, oh, yeah. long, how long have you had these coils nine to ten months now okay are you completely happy um, with them are oh yeah any issues when i first got them and i was on my stock setup with stock wheels i was definitely being able to push it through angel's crest on especially on the way down yeah it was terrific Same. actually perfect super comfortable stiff direct but but compliant uh, which right. is a, a fine line to walk in adjustable suspensions. Um, so we got Motorsports hardware Stud, studs stud on kit. here, right? Yeah, stud, at the stud kit and then the uh, running the track light spacers up front, 10 mils. Okay. And then uh, the tight nuts, black tight nuts. Yeah, it looks, it's such a mean looking setup, especially with which you need to, on those TE37s. Oh yeah, nice contrast yeah. there too. It's so angry. Those studs with the open lugs, it just looks, it looks race car, especially with all these decals you have on it, it right screams, now. It just screams everything. <laughs> So you just went on the Targa Trophy. Oh yeah. Is that your first time going? Uh, yes. And yes, how it was is. that? That was pretty adrenaline pumping actually. <laughs> it's, we covered probably about 125 miles on okay. the drive itself. So wow. quite a bit of distance. And does it cost to do that? 
Yes. How is much is it? Paid four fifteen. Okay. Four fifteen per coin. And do you get like lunch or something with that? Uh, you get a ticket voucher for breakfast. I think okay. that's about it. And <laughs> a whole lot of good memories, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, so I'm going to do another first gear pull. I just really want to feel how this uh, transmission shifts and how responsive it is. It's uh, it's not bad. It's not a dual no, clutch, no. but it's not bad at all. So let's, let's hit it. Oh, first gear feels bomb. ships very fast and then when you're not when you're just easy on the gas it's a much more smoother feel right. than a dual clutch can do because it's an automatic i actually have a solution to get my transmission shift a little bit faster is there a tune yes there is an alpina b3 nice. flash tune nice see that's just endless tunability to this thing that's awesome nice strong power though damn Woo. yeah this thing's got some legs on it the handling's fantastic. The seats, super comfortable. Build quality, fantastic. Have you had maintenance? Let's talk about maintenance costs and issues you've had with this car. Maintenance, I just, just oils. Okay. Maintain those fluids ever since I, I uh, talked to my buddy Cecil on Motorsport Hardware. They had their Motorsport fluids. Right. Right, and they did tell me, hey, Ravenol is the new you know, oil. Are you running Germany. Ravenol Yes, I too? am running Ravenol. What'd you think? It's a lot better. Yeah. I think it do run cooler hmm. when I'm pushing it too. Crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. Motorsports fluid coming through with the Ravenol again. Exactly. <laughs> My buddy Joe's uh, brand new Camaro ZL1. He he swears by it, and even I, he's got his old 300 ZX twin turbo. He put it in. He said it just like smoother, cooler, just like everything's mm -hmm. better. Well, that's awesome. So it hasn't been the ultimate maintenance machine for you. It's been pretty reliable. Oh yeah. I've, yeah. Uh, when we got this car, this became like a vacation car. We take it everywhere on road trips. We actually drove, put a lot of miles on this. Hmm. Yeah. Like got it was at twenty one thousand miles. Damn! So you put over fifty thousand miles. Oh in yeah. It. And how long have you had it? It's about five years. Okay. Ten thousand. Four, four years. Four okay. years actually. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Well, I love the build. I love the color. It looks aggressive. The fitment is on point. Maybe a little too on point with that rubbing. <laughs> <Right. laughs> but that'll get dialed in. And it's such a comfortable car. These seats are super supportive and nice bolsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bolster lumbar support. It's it feels all. like she wants to go out on the track. It really oh, does. Yeah, a nice high speed circuit like Big Willow or something like that. She'd have fun. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you letting me drive it. Thanks all for right. watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, drop a thumbs up. Until next time, have a really cool day. Peace. All right, so we're in the hangar, which the hangar's looking like it might not be around that long. Steven's shooting the car. This is our favorite photo shoot location. Um, but I wanted to turn the camera back on and say a couple quick more points about the car. I don't think I could own one of these for two reasons. One, it's got weak ass cup holders. The cup holders are small all up on the dash. You're not gonna be able to put like a 42 ounce drink in there. Uh, so that's not cool. Second of all, I found out the folding rear seat is an option. And even this car that's basically fully loaded, it doesn't have it, so you can't put the rear seat down. What the heck, it's a four-door sedan with a huge trunk and you can't put the seat down? Crazy! Come on, BMW, why are you making every single thing an option? That's stupid! Uh, other than that, it's a dope-ass car, though, and I really like driving it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.